we are told sometimes people come forward and what? Spread rumors about this person, have suspicious doubts about this individual. Allah says, make sure you are careful when it comes to van. You know what happens in reality? This is what happens. People often post something like this. They say, um, you know, I'm not really sure. I think this is what happened. Or oh, did you hear? Or the best one is what? I'm not supposed to say, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> That's the best one, yes? When, they, when they're not sure or there's somehow gossip or they've heard from here and here, the chit-chatting, the gossiping, especially on WhatsApp, the freedom to dissect the lives of others, to fabricate, to distort, is very dangerous. Today we must tackle it. Lest in 10, 15 years time, our children, our youth, are what? Are God forbid lost. We have to face this reality and challenge these aspects because we cannot be the same as disbelievers who do not necessarily have a constitution for the safety and the well-being of spiritual presence as well as physical we are different don't tell me oh you know what why are you putting all these restrictions it's for our own benefit Islam is there to help our growth our development yes likewise what do we talk what are we told do not spy on others. The Quran, look at this. I mean, it's as if Allah, of course, subhanahu wa ta'ala knows this can be clearly applied towards what? Social media and the way people utilize it to spy necessarily on others, to obtain information on whom? On others. What do we find? We find within this, the Quran comes and then says, do not backbite each other. Allahu Akbar. The Quran likens it to eating the flesh of your brother, the body of your brother or sister. Islam has denounced backbiting. What is backbiting? Backbiting, very quickly and simply, is when you and I mention what? Faults or aspects which are hidden from people about our brothers and sisters, yes, which they dislike, which they do not like. And even if it is apparent, which they also dislike. Yes, sometimes people say, well, you know, everyone can see this, but they don't want you to mention it. It brings about animosity. It brings about hatred. It breaks down relationships. Quran, teachings of the Ahl al-Bayt, denounce backbiting. Do you know what our sixth Imam says? That if an individual seeks to uh, destroy the reputation of another believer by speaking ill of them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes him out of his wilaya. In other words, Allah will not be his guardian, his protector, and he will make shaitan to be his guardian and protector. But do you know what Imam Sadiq says? The shaitan will also say, I don't want you as well. To that extent, Shaitan doesn't want that individual. Why? Because of the severity of the actions that they have committed. Backbiting and therefore is of the utmost importance that we have to be careful not to fall into the sins of and be very, very careful in our conduct and what we say about others, how we mention others. That is what of great importance.